Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So, uh, I was actually planning to do a speculation video yesterday, talking about what global players can expect to get uh, after the Saiyan Day celebration ended, because I've been getting a lot of questions about it recently, right? But then something came up, I got busy, and I wasn't able to make that video. But now, as it turns out, there is no longer any need for speculation because earlier this morning, I seriously tweeted this GIF which tells us exactly what we can expect on Global within the next couple of days. Um, so as you guys can see, according to I seriously, the next banner slash banners on Global will be for the Super Saiyan 3 Goku and Kid Buu Dual Dokkan Fest which I think is something that most people were expecting anyways, but we now have some confirmation, courtesy of I Seriously. So in today's video, we're going to quickly go over exactly what each of these upcoming units actually do, as well as the expected release time of their banners, and also a quick look at some of the uh, exciting events from this new celebration. All right, now, real quick before we get into it, I want to give a big shout out to the sponsor of today's video, which is GamerSubs. If you guys are interested in picking up a waifu shaker like this one, or try one of their delicious supplement flavors like the uh, Grenadier Grape, which is one of my personal favorites, or pick up a waifu sweater, shirt, sleeve, or any of their other products, then make sure to head down to the link in my description. And if you see something you like and you want to buy it, you can use my discount code TIGER for 10% off your entire purchase. Once again, that is GamerSups. A big shout out and thank you for the sponsorship. And uh, with that said, let's jump right into it. So starting with the uh, new units first, we got the Fizz Goku, which is a Super Saiyan 2 Goku that transforms into Super Saiyan 3 Goku. And also the Kid Buu. Um, why don't we go with the one that I think most people are probably a little bit more hyped for, maybe. And that would be the Fizz Goku. So, in his Super Saiyan 2 form, starting with the leader skill, it's Battle of Fate or Accelerated Battle, Category Key plus 3, HP plus 130%, and Attack and Defense plus 170%. Now, of course, this leader skill is still very, very solid. It's just after experiencing the 200% leader skill of the Saiyan Day Majin Majida, it does feel a little bit lacking. At this point right but anyways good leader skill uh, super attack attack and defense raises attack and defense for one turn and causes immense damage with a medium chance of stunning and then passive is key plus two attack and defense plus 180 percent and then attack and defense plus 50 percent when performing a super attack launches an additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack and high chance to perform a critical hit so in his Super Saiyan 2 form, obviously not as good as the Super Saiyan 3 form, but still really, really solid both offensively and defensively. And then his passive, of course, or sorry, his uh, active skill is the transformation into Super Saiyan 3 can be activated when HP is 77% or less starting from the third turn from start of battle once only. And his links are Saiyan Warrior Race, Super Saiyan, Saiyan Lineage, Golden Warrior, Experienced Fighters, Prepare for Battle, and Fierce Battle. And categories are Majin Buu Saga, Super Saiyan 3, Pure Saiyans, Transformation Boost, Goku's Family, Kamehameha, Super Saiyan 2, Turtle School, Master Evolution, Bond of Friendship, Accelerated Battle, Battle of Fate, and Beyond Super Saiyan. So lots and lots of categories for this guy. And his additional attack and defense plus 50% is calculated separately for a total boost of attack and defense plus 320% when performing a super attack. Now, popping over to the uh, Super Saiyan 3 Goku, who becomes absolutely insane. Super attack greatly raises attack and raises defense. For one turn, it causes immense damage with a medium chance of stunning the enemy. And passive is key plus three, attack and defense plus 200%, attack and defense plus 50%, when performing a super attack, launches two additional attacks, each of which has a medium chance of becoming a super attack, plus an additional attack plus 50% when attacking, and great chance 
to perform a critical hit for 6 turns from start of turn, a high chance to perform a critical hit starting from the 7th turn. Okay, so, um, like I said, he is uh, quite, quite broken. Even at this point, even after we've seen quite a few releases, um, after, you know, this dual Dokkan Fest on JP, I still think this guy holds up as, you know, a top 5 TUR right now. I mean, he just, he's, he's crazy. He, he is absolutely crazy. And of course, his links do change a little bit. Um, he has Saiyan Warrior Race, Super Saiyan, Saiyan Lineage, and then Kamehameha, Over in a Flash, Limit Breaking Form, and Fierce Battle. And as far as his calculations go, his additional boosts are calculated separately for a boost of attack plus, sorry, attack and defense plus 350% when performing a super attack, plus an additional attack boost by up to 500% for six turns from start of battle. So, in theory, this guy can get up to four super attacks in a turn. Four super attacks, and each of these additional attacks and a passive have a medium chance, which is a 30% chance, so it's much more likely for them to become super attacks compared to, like, the uh, SSB Vegeta, right? The EZA SSB Vegeta that we just got for both sides. And he also has the yeah, additional 50% uh, additional attack for the first six turns, right? And he also gets a 70% chance to crit on each of his attacks for the first six turns, and then it becomes 50% after six turns, which is still really, really good, right? So, um, from a damage output perspective, he is just off the charts. And then defensively, I mean, he's still raising defense on his super attack, and he's also getting a a uh, very big boost on his passive too, so he's going to be really good defensively, especially if he's launch especially if he's launching multiple super attacks. So, yeah, from that perspective, um, insane unit, <laughs> insane unit. If that wasn't obvious enough, uh, I just want to say it one more time: insane, insane unit. Now let's give some love to the kid Boo because we've been spending a lot of time on this Goku. Uh, leader skill is Battle of Fate or Majin Buu Saga. He plus 3, HP and attack plus 170% and defense plus 130%. Once again, a great leader skill, but it's not 200%. Okay, so keep that in mind. After the 7th anniversary, uh, basically every unit, every new unit is going to have the ability to give certain units 200% leader skills. So these kinds of leader skills will eventually become obsolete, okay? And then super attack raises attack and defense for one turn and causes immense damage with a medium chance of stunning the enemy. Passive Q plus 3, attack and defense plus 180%, attack and defense plus 30% with each attack performed up to 120%. Launches an additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack, recovers 20% HP at the end of turn in which attack was received. Great chance of nullifying unarmed super attacks directed at the character. Active skill is attack and defense plus 20% in battle, and that applies for the rest of the battle, guys. That is actually really, really crazy. And uh, the condition is can be activated when there is a Majin Buu Saga category enemy or after receiving six or more attacks in battle once only. Links are Majin, Brutal Beatdown, More Than Meets the Eye, Big Bad Bosses, Infinite Regeneration, The Wall Standing Tall, and Fierce Battle. And categories are Resurrected Warriors, Majin Buu Saga, Transformation Boost, Artificial Life Form, Majin, Majin Power, Planetary Destruction, Storied Figures, Legendary Existence, Sworn Enemies, Accelerate Battle, Worldwide Chaos, and Battle of Fate. And of course, his additional attack and defense plus 30% boosts are calculated separately for a total of attack and defense plus 84% with each attack performed up to a maximum boost of attack and defense plus 516% with 4 or more attacks performed during battle, and on top of that, he is also getting that 20% attack and defense for the rest of the battle. So even though initially, the Kid Buu, I feel like, doesn't uh, pop off the page as much as the Super Saiyan 3 Goku, because, you know, he doesn't have a transformation, uh, maybe the numbers, you know, initially don't seem as big, but believe me, believe me when I say, this guy is also insane. <laughs> okay, he's also 
ridiculously, ridiculously awesome. So both of these units basically are uh, monsters. Both are units that I personally want very, very badly. And uh, I'm really excited for the celebration, guys. I gotta say, I'm very, very excited for the celebration. And uh, in terms of the release date, so if you guys remember, last year we got PyCon and Janemba around this time. And it was right after Saiyan Day as well. And their banners dropped on, uh, as you can see, April 1st. Uh, one sec. That was actually when the celebration started. So the banners dropped on April 1st, but at 10.30 p.m. Pacific time. Okay, so for some people, it's going to be the morning of April 2nd. Or if you're in another time zone, it could be a different time. But the point is, it's basically around the beginning of April. So we're only about... You know, three, four days to go, three, four days away. Um, I think a lot of people are going to be pretty drained on stones because of the Majin Majita banner. So that would be a little bit unfortunate. But uh, it's coming soon, guys. So hopefully you are prepared. Hopefully you save some stones. Obviously, we have the 7th uh, anniversary still to worry about. So the stone situation on Global is definitely kind of rough. Um, it's a choice that you guys will have to make. If you want these guys really bad, then maybe it's worth dropping a few multis. Um, if you don't want them as bad, then obviously the 7th anniversary is still the priority. That is up to you. Um, but it is a tough choice. It is a tough choice. Okay, so uh, after that, let's take a quick look at the campaign that JP got. And I believe it was for New Year's, right? This was the New Year's Dual Dokkan Fest. So, one thing I'm personally very excited about is the fact that there's a decent chance we'll be getting the return of the type exclusive banners where you can get the type supports like the Fizz Go, uh, Gohan as well as the Super Boo. You can get the you know tech supports, the Tien and the Cell, the Int supports, the Kid Gohan and the Vegeta. And then for SDR, we have the Hit and Kaba. And then for uh, the AGL, we have the Pan and Rildo. So these guys are really hard to get because their banners, like these type banners, almost never come back. And I'm really hoping, fingers crossed, that they make a reappearance because I'm probably going to go in on the tech banner as well as the AGL banner since I don't have Rildo and I don't have the Cell. I really want those. I really want to add those guys to my collection, you know? And uh, of course, when it comes to chasing specific type LRs as well, these banners give you a pretty decent chance at getting like AGL LRs and AGL banner you know, Intel Lars and the Int Banner, and so on and so forth. Now, there's a chance we don't get them, which would suck, but I'm hopeful because JP did get these banners for this celebration with the Super Saiyan 3 Goku and Kid Blue Tool Dokkan Fest. And another thing that's pretty exciting is the Extreme Z Awakening for the LR Mighty Mask slash Gohan, or sorry, uh, Goten and Trunks. So uh, we should be expecting this as well. And aside from that, I don't think there was really much else um, that was too unique about the celebration. Um, obviously, you know, new Ultimate Clash, new Omega Shenron boss, that's to be expected. New Super Battle Road stage, uh, I'm not exactly sure if this is one that we already got or if it's actually going to be a new one, so uh, stay tuned for that one. And uh, some story events, of course, returning. Um, so yeah, that's about it guys. That is your preview for this upcoming celebration for the upcoming Dual Dokkan Fest. I will make another video going into more details about the uh, banners as well as the animations for the Kid Buu and Super Saiyan 3 Goku for our, you know, regular pass or pull video. So definitely stay tuned for that. But for now, uh, that's all I gotta say guys. Shout out to I Seriously for the preview for the confirmation. And let me know in the comments down below if you guys are excited for this Dual Dokkan Fest or if you're planning to skip it completely because we do have the 7th anniversary coming up fairly soon, actually. We're less than 4 months away at this point. So uh, that's definitely something to consider when you decide to summon on any banner uh, coming up, right? But anyways, that's all I gotta say. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And uh, until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. 
晒呢嘅。